Hey guys, it's Delcy. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about five ways to save more time on the weekends and how to change your mindset in five minutes a day. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So for how to save mo save more time on your for weekends, the first thing to do is to spend only 20 minutes a day cleaning Monday through Thursday. This will help you a lot to be able, once the weekend comes, there's not a whole lot of cleaning that you have to do. Uh, do your grocery shopping in a less busy weekday. It saves you both time and money. If there's a big gap of time between your classes, you can always just go to the store then if you really need to. Um, and then that way, like on the weekend, because you know it's the weekend, you're not temp tempted to buy more because you have more time to just be at the store. Do one load of laundry per day if possible, or pick a midday week, a midweek day as the laundry day. Um, so like now, um, usually I either do my laundry on Wednesdays or on Sundays. It really just depends on like my week and stuff like that. So even if you have two days that you choose to do your laundry, if you have like the main day and then a backup day, if you happen to not be able to do laundry that day, that also helps. Make your lunch more productive. Do your banking, shop online, plan your dinner, do a whole lot of things during lunch. That way um, you don't have to worry about them later on. And then spend five minutes tidying your car per day. That way if you plan on doing a tr girl's trip or a guy's trip one weekend, you're not having a lot of stuff in your car and you're not having to frantically clean it out a couple minutes before you're supposed to leave. So the last thing for this video I'm going to talk about is how to change your mindset in five minutes a day. So the first thing is mindset practice. In a journal, write down at least one negative thought you had during the day, then write down one positive aspect related to that negative thought. So if you like, um, it's, I don't, I'm trying to think of a scenario here, of, like, so say like your negative would be, um, not being being able to get all your work done but you got a lot more time to study for your test and then an, uh, another thing to go off that is you could do like your lowest your low for the day and a high for the day so like it doesn't even have to be thoughts like you could have like a low of the day where something like just didn't go right and then you had a you could have a high a day a high of your day the next thing is attitude practice. Write down a person or situation you want to adjust your thinking about. And then for the next seven days, write down at least one good thing you have either seen or experienced um, about that person or that situation. Affirmation practice. There are so many ways to do this. And I think Pinterest is a good way to actually like get started and get ideas. And the last thing is gratitude practice. Um, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in my next video.